Hey, Shalom family, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Maccabees TV. This is our backup channel, Maccabees TV too. Haven't posted on here in a while. And so I said I would just do a quick video. This is an impromptu video, by the way. Um, didn't plan it. But as usual, you know, you get on social media and you come across some stuff. Sometimes you get suggestions on your timeline on Facebook. And sometimes you get suggested videos on YouTube. Now, I might be late to this. And maybe somebody has already done a video about it. And I'm still trying to process this thing. I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing at the same time. So, the so-called white man has a movie coming out called Loquisha. How many of y'all heard about that movie that's coming out called Loquisha? <laughs> now, without me giving it away... Who do you think is the subject matter of that movie? Who do you think the movie is talking about? The movie is written by a white men, by the way. The movie is called Loquisha. If you guess the movie is about the so-called black woman, well, you're right. The so-called white man has a movie about a called Loquisha. Right? So he went all the way down into the gutter. And it's making fun of even some of the names that you name your children, which really, not to sound funny, don't make any sense. What is a loquitia? What is that? I mean, I can't even be mad about that because I make fun of that stuff too. What is a loquitia? It's like with black folks, and when I say black folks, I'm talking about so-called black suspects and Native Americans. It's like when we give our children names, we want something that sounds exotic, which that does not. But we want something that sounds exotic. It doesn't have any meaning to it. That's not the Hebrew tradition. When we named our children, our children's names had meaning to it when you read the scriptures. And many times, the children had what's called omen nomer. If you don't know what omen nomer is, omen nomer is a name sign. Omen nomer is a name sign. All right? Like when you look at the name in the New Testament of Christ, that's an omen nomer. That's a name sign. It means deliverer, salvation, etc. Right? Because that was the job that he had. When you look up Jacob, our forefather, that's an omen nomer, a name sign. Why? Because Jacob would supplant his birthright from Esau. It was always his birthright. The prophet told that the baby, the second, the, the, uh, the, the elder would serve the younger. That was already foretold before the children were even born. For those that don't understand that. So no, Jacob did not steal the birthright from Esau. He supplanted it, but that's the way the Most High set it up. But that's an omen nomer. The name had a meaning. You understand? Nowadays, we give our children names that have no meaning. If that sound exotic or sound good, well, exotic to us. Because a loquitia don't sound exotic to nobody but an ignorant so-called black person. But anyway, the so-called white man has a movie called Loquitia. <laughs> I mean, every time I hear it, I have to laugh. So I watched the trailer. You can watch it, too. I'm going to put the spelling in the title of the video for y'all. You can watch the movie, too. Uh, it's about a so-called white man. I guess he falls on... Financial hard times, and he's looking for a job or some, you know, trying to get some money. And he, you know, I guess he was watching a spoof on TV of what was supposed to be the Maury Show, because you know, black folks get up on the Maury Show and only in the Steve Wilco Show and make fools out of yourself too. But that's another show. That's a whole nother show, right? And so he was watching that. He got an idea to do a uh, a, a talk show where he wouldn't show his face, but he was able to imitate. Black women, the way that you sound, the way that you talk, the slang that you use, etc. He was able to imitate it and came out with a radio show and all the black women were just loving the show and loving him. Not knowing that behind the scenes it was a so-called white man. That was the premise of the trailer that I saw. But it's a damn shame. In 2019, going, you know, basically midway through 2019, the so-called white man is telling you how he feels about you. He's telling you exactly how he feels about you. This ain't the first time that they made fun of you. And Negroes is always laughing at spoofs about yourself. I know a lot of Negroes that thought Tropical Thunder was funny, right? The so-called white man put on blackface and made a movie called Damn Tropical Thunder. And Negroes thought it was funny. I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority. I didn't think it was funny. I really didn't think it was funny. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just me. Um, now, I will say this, right? I will say this. For those that are offended that didn't know about this and go watch the trailer, I will say this. Consider that the Wayans brothers did do a movie called White Chicks, because I already saw that in the comment boards. The white folks are already coming out. Well, you made one about us. Yeah, we made one about you. Maybe two or three if you can find two or three. 
But every movie in Hollywood, whether overtly or covertly, is about us. Them's the facts. Them's the facts. They're always making fun of you. All right? That's why these damn so-called white people that run Hollywood will greenlight million-dollar budgets for, for buffoonery. For buffoonery. And you so-called blacks will go out and support those movies that are about nothing. You so-called blacks will go out and support a movie about a fake place called Wakanda and a fake cartoon character named Black Panther, right? But you had a movie that came out called Birth of a Nation and you didn't go to see it. And the movie was watered down. He was not allowed to show what Nat Turner was really doing. Like him out there really, really getting it in. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know the history. He wasn't allowed to show that. And even with that, white folks cried and complained about that. They've been making movies about Rosewood and all types of movies showing uh, tw uh, 12 Years a Slave and all types of, of atrocities that they show with what they did to black people. Okay? This brother wasn't even allowed to show what Nat Turner was doing in order to get the film greenlighted. And you so-called blacks and Hispanics did not support that. Dang on, my cell phone thing just fell off the thing. Anyway, you weren't even allowed to uh, show that in the movie. And Negroes didn't support that. But when 12 Years a Slave came out, when the white man showed what he did to you, you went out to support that by the millions, right? There was another movie that came out uh, not too long before or after. I believe it was called The Butler or something like that about the butlers in the White House. Negroes went out and supported that too. Didn't support 12 Years a Slave. So good luck trying to get another slavery movie greenlighted. Good luck with that. I mean, excuse me. Another movie showing black people actually rebelling against the oppressors. Good luck trying to get another movie like that budgeted in Hollywood. Good luck with that. Because you didn't support that. But you went out and supported Black Panther. That's why they're already talking about a sequel, man. So Hollywood been doing you dirty for years. And now they have another movie called Loquisha coming out. I don't know when. I don't know. I just saw the trailer. Just put it in. Look at the way I spelt it in the title and put it in, family. With that being said, I'm done. I'll be more on this channel. I'll do more videos on this channel as well. Just a little rant this morning. That's all. While I'm waiting to go into work. It's your brother Priest Danielle. This is Maccabees TV 2. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to this channel, Maccabees TV 2. It is my backup channel to Maccabees TV. Make sure you subscribe. I definitely will be giving you brothers and sisters more content here. And with that, I say shalom. Go check out that trailer, Loquisha. And come back on the comment boards and tell me what y'all think. Oh, and also hit the like button as well. Show your brother some love. Shalom.